What's up guys? So today I'm going to talk a little bit about Takio Serve. He has a, a great channel. I think they post in a while, but it's called the Stars Tennis Academy. I'll link it in below. And he has a concept that I actually have never learned before myself. And I thought it was really interesting and uh, something that I think should be taught everywhere as far as the difference between a kick and a slice serve. You see the difference between a slice serve and a flat serve and all that. And it really just simplifies it. It's in uh, Japanese, but they're talking Japanese, but it's an English subtitle. So I'm going to break it down a little bit and then explain why Takio's serve is just, it's so good, especially for his height being 5'9". Sorry, so I'm going to do this inside the house because I just coached for five hours and I was getting all the scheduling done today and I don't want to go back out to the court. So um, what makes Takio so good here is his serve is he talked about the disguise of it. And so if I'm taking my contact point up high, and this is the tennis ball, my fist here, what he talks about is a lot of people, and there was another uh, coach there too, that talked about how we learn to go around the side. And I learned the same way. I learned to go and open up and come around the side of the ball like this on a slice serve. And you know, that may work for some people, but for me, I, you know, I would throw in a lot of doubles. I'm like, all right, so the kick's going up the ball, slice is coming around, and then, it's kind of funny, I videoed it, and I might make another video of this, but even when you learn this way, or you're learning the way I'm going to teach in the way Takiao teaches, the arm actually ends up going out the same way, so it's, you can't really tell. It, it, they both have the same result, if that makes sense, but they're taught in a different way, so it's a different way to think about it. So if you're having sh uh, trouble or struggles on your slice serve, and this will probably make a little bit more sense to you if the way you learned was around the outside like I did. And so what he said is, look, if I hit the ball up here, so a kick serve, I'm going up the back side of the ball, right? I'm gonna back up a little bit here. So I'm going up the back side of the ball. Well, on the slice serve, if I just take that toss, it's pretty much the same thing. And I toss it just out here in front, right? You can't tell that much between my fist movement, but now from here, instead of going up the back of the ball, I'm gonna go sideways, and he talks about hitting this side of the racket on the, on the strings, right? Over on this side. So instead of going just up it, or towards the inside, we're gonna get a little bit more in front, and we're gonna hit this way. And so if I'm hitting this way, the ball's gonna come off to the left and slice out wide, and then my racket's gonna come around, right? And same thing with the kick serve, my racket comes around this way. So really, the only difference between the kick and the slice, this is a little bit closer to me, and by tossing the ball barely in front of me a little bit more, that's gonna make me hit the side. And I'm gonna have the same motion, it's just ever so different at the contact point, right? Contact point is either going up a little bit more or just barely forward a little bit more. So don't think about it as two separate motions of one coming around and one going up, because that's gonna lead, I think, in general to more double faults because it's two different mortar programs. If you think about it this way, it's a subtle difference in a mortar program of your swing, right? And then the other, I think, huge advantage to it, even though they do look similar, if you're coming around the ball this way and then your kick serves are staying a little bit more turned, even though the arm looks similar, the body looks a little bit different. So you're telegraphing your shot. And the reason I'm gonna show these clips of why Takiao was so good, especially when he played Federer and he's serving volleying Federer, you know, in 2005 at the Australian Open and I forgot where the other location was, was again at 5'9", 130 something miles per hour, his disguise was so good because from here you couldn't tell whether he was going to go out wide or kick. You just can't tell that big of a subtle difference between the two. So I like watching these guys, you know, a little smaller, um, maybe not the most physically gifted are talented, but how they make those little adjustments and they're able to really compete with that. You know, that's what we're looking for as just, you know, a regular player with no huge gifts. All right. So I thought that was pretty cool. Again, I'll link that video below. Thought they did. He, he did a great job. And hopefully this helps your game with the slice serve. Till next time, guys. <laughs> Federer did touch it. Yes. So he didn't get near that one.
he projects himself up and up. Body. Good catch.